Welcome back. And now for the top 10 ski tips. Filling out my cards. A ski trip requires a lot of planning, and I'm sure you're busy with all those details, but I've got 10 tips here that you might not have thought of, so let's get started. Number 10. Get your equipment checked and prepped at the start of every ski season. This includes having your bindings tested, having your skis and boards waxed, and your edges sharpened. But keep in mind, when they sharpen those edges, they sharpen the edges. Number 9. Find a zippered pocket in your ski jacket to store your money and car keys. I have it on good authority that the ski resorts end up with buckets of lost keys and wallets. If you don't have a zippered pocket, leave your keys and valuables in a locker. That key is easier to replace than yours. Number eight. Skiing and boarding is exertion. The night before you go skiing, eat a meal of complex carbs like pizza, pasta, baked potatoes. You'll need the energy. In the morning before you get out there, eat proteins and simple carbs, yogurt, fruit, eggs, maybe some toast. You'll feel better out on the hill if you have a light lunch, shy away from caffeine, and drink plenty of water. Number seven. If you want to get in some extra runs, ride early. Ticket booths open at around 8 for lifts that open at 8.30. Then you have lunch early, say around 10.30 or 11, and then while everyone else is eating, you're owning the slopes. Number six. Check the ski reports that are issued sometimes twice daily for current weather and slope conditions so you can dress accordingly. Number five. If you like skiing on crowded slopes, early in December is a great time. Not too many skiers and conditions are usually awesome. Another prime time is Super Bowl weekend. Number four. If you're taking small children to the resort, confirm the minimum age for the ski school or the daycare and take a change of clothes for the end of the day. If you're going to ski with your kids, show them what a ski patrolman looks like and pick a meeting spot in case you get separated. Number three. Skiing and snowboarding is exercise, and it's always a good idea before any exercising to warm up a bit. This does not mean stretching. Stretching a cold muscle is risky. Your stretches will be more effective after you're done skiing. Your warm-up should consist of activities to get your blood pumping, like jogging in place or jumping jacks. Number two. Bring sunscreen. Seriously, the snow is the third most reflective surface on the planet, and you will get sunburn. Number one. Take a lesson. Even Olympic skiers take lessons. For a first-time skier or snowboarder, a one-hour group or private lesson will give you the proper techniques and the fundamentals for a safe and fun day on the slopes. For more experienced skiers, a lesson will reinforce good habits, re-familiarize you with the terrain, and show you the right protocol for the mountain. Take these, young grasshopper. Learn from them. Ski with confidence. Be the mountain. Be the mountain. Be the mountain. I don't get that. Be the mountain. We'll be right back.